الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على عبد الله ورسوله نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد So the intention inshallah ta'ala is that we finish uh, the summarized tafsir which we've been doing the commentary I don't really call it a tafsir but I would call it a commentary on the English translation We are inshallah ta'ala going to finish that today however long it takes بإذن الله ta'ala uh, but I'm hoping that we can finish inside of the normal allotted time. Ibn Allah Ta'ala. We are up to Surat at Takwir. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al Anbiya wa al Mursaleen. Sayyidina wa Nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma filina wa lishaykhina wa lmustami'in wa lijami'in muslimin bi rahmatika ya arham ar Rahimin. Ba'da a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar Rajim. Qala Allah Ta'ala. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا الشمس كورت When the sun is wrapped up in darkness So there are different views about what the meaning of kuwirat is But the general meaning of it is that the sun comes together with the moon And both of them rise from the west Both of them come together And both of them are extinguished The light from them is extinguished And there are some uh, يعني, There are there are some uh, any narrations that mention it being put into the fire, any falling into the hellfire. Ala kulli hal, the sun any is wound up and it turns into darkness. And that is, any when the horn is blown, the first time for the start of al qiyamah. Wa idan nujum kadarat. And when the stars fall, dispersing. Any from the description and Surah al Taqwir along with Surah al. Al-Infitar and Surah Al-Inshiqaq There is a narration from some of the Sahaba That whoever wants to see the Day of Judgment As though they saw it with their own eyes Let them read these surahs Because if you read Surah Al-Takweer You are see, literally Allah is describing to you the Qiyamah As though you see it with your own eyes And when the stars fall And they disperse وَإِذَا الْجِبَالُ سُيِّرَتْ And when the mountains are removed, and they're made to pass away. And when the full-term she-camels are neglected. See, a pregnant camel would be the person, people who have camels. A pregnant camel is a source of a lot of wealth and a lot of care. So the person would give a lot of care. Any two, the pregnant she-camel, they will be looking at it and taking care of it because it, it, at that time it needs care. And it's a source of wealth for them, meaning for the owners of the camels. So for them to leave their pregnant she-camels, this is an example of something which is very serious. Only the most serious thing would have caused them to leave that. Rather, if we look at the example, even more than that, the example given in Surah Al-Hajj. Inna zalzalat al-sa'ati shay'un azim. What's the example given? About wa tada'u kullu dhati hamlin hamlaha. And even the pregnant woman, she will miscarry her baby. Even the woman who is breastfeeding her baby, she will leave, she will drop the baby that she's feeding. And you never imagine, and at the time a woman is feeding her child, she never ever leave that child. I can she will leave that child, just drop that child out of the fear of what is happening at that time. And when the wild beasts are gathered, this is evidence that the animals will be gathered Yawm al Qiyamah. However, the animals will not be, be entered into Jannah or Jahannam. They will turn into dust. But they will be gathered even to the point that the animals, the madhalim between the animals, Allah will make it right. In either the, the oppression between the animals when one animal oppressed the other. But the animals will not be given an account. Any they will not be from the people of any from the animals of Jannah or Jahannam. وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ سُجِّرَتْ And when the seas are filled with flame, any they become on fire. Or sujirat means they overflow into each other. Any either it means they burst forth overflowing or they become fire. وَإِذَا النُّفُوسُ زُوِّجَتْ And when the souls are paired. Yani either it means that like souls that are like, they go together. The good with the good and the bad with the bad and so on. Or it means that the soul and the body is paired back together. Ibn al-Qayyim mentioned that the soul and the body 
have varying stages between them, between the soul and the body. And the most complete connection between the soul and the body is Yawm Al-Qiyamah. That's the time when the soul and the body have a total connection because they don't sleep, they don't separate from each other. At that time, whether believer or kafir, the complete connection between the soul and the body, the most complete that it ever will be is Yawm Al-Qiyamah. وَإِذَا الْمَوْءُودَةُ سُئِلَتْ And when the girl who was buried alive is asked, because the Arab in the time of Jahiliyyah, they used to bury their daughters alive. So يوم القيامة, that daughter that was buried, she will be asked. بِأَيِّ ذَنْبٍ قُتِلَتْ For what sin was she killed? وَإِذَا الصُّحُفُ نُشِرَتْ and when the pages are spread, any of the recorded deeds of all of the people are made public. Yeah. And when the sky is stripped away. And when hellfire is set ablaze. You know, Jahannam exists already. However, the blazing of Jahannam Yawm Al Qiyamah will be more than the blazing of Jahannam. Any what it is now, any it will be, and why is that? Because it will be fueled. What is the fuel of Jahannam? Any waqudu nasu wal hijara. The fuel is people and stones. For Jahannam will be fueled on that day. Wa idal jannatu uzlifat. And when Jannah is brought near, alimat nafsum ma ahdarat. A soul will then know what it has brought with it. And all the deeds have come with you. Because you don't take anything from this life. You don't take money. You don't take status. But you take your deeds, whatever they are. So the deeds are, are you will know what you brought with you in terms of your deeds. فَلَا أُقْسِمُ So I swear by the retreating stars. Those that run their courses and disappear. And this is regarding the stars that appear and disappear in the sky. Because the stars have, in their movements in the sky, they are visible at some times and they disappear at other times. And by the night as it closes in. It's also said by the night as it closes in means the night when it departs. In the as as, either when it comes or when it goes. And by the dawn when it breaks. <laughs> that indeed it is a word conveyed by a noble messenger. Meaning that the Quran has been conveyed to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, by Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam. ذي قوة عند ذي العرش مكين Who is possessed of power with the owner of the throne secure in position And he has, he's full of power and he has honor in the sight of Allah In Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam مطاع ثم أمين Abayed there, and he abayed in the heavens and trustworthy وَمَا صَاحِبُكُمْ بِمَجْنُونَ Abayed in the heavens, yani, the meaning is that Jibreel is the leader of the angels. So the angels obey the command of Jibreel in the heavens. Uh, the next ayah you read, وَمَا صَاحِبُكُمْ بِمَجْنُونَ And your companion, meaning the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is not at all mad. وَلَقَدْ رَآهُ بِالْأُفُكِ الْمُبِينَ and he has certainly seen him, meaning Jibreel, in, a, in the clear horizon. And the Prophet certainly saw Jibreel in his true form. And he saw him twice in his true form. Uh, he saw him just after the prophethood, the beginning of the prophethood. Uh, after the revelation stopped for a while, after Iqra and the revelation stopped for a while, he saw Jibreel in his true form. And he filled the horizon and he had 600 wings. And then he saw Jibreel again. وَلَقَدْ رَآهُ نَزْلَةً أُخْرَى عِنْدَ سِدْرَةِ الْمُنْتَهَى And on the time when Jibreel took him to Al-Isra'a wal-Mi'raj. 
وَمَا هُوَ عَلَى الْغَيْبِ بِضَنِينَ And he is not a withholder of knowledge of the unseen. I mean, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not withhold anything that he was told to convey to the people. وَمَا هُوَ بِقَوْلِ شَيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ And it is not the word of a devil expelled from the heavens. Yani the Quran, وَمَا تَنَزَّلَتْ بِهِ الشَّيَاطِينِ وَمَا يَنْبَغِي لَهُمْ وَمَا يَسْتَطِيعُ The shaytan never came down with this Quran. And it's not right for this Quran to be something that the shaytan brought. And they would not have been able to bring it if they wanted to bring it. فَأَيْنَ تَذْهَبُونَ So where are you going? Any with your denial of the Quran and the Prophet ﷺ, any ask yourself where are you heading? إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرٌ لِلْعَالَمِينَ It is not except a reminder to the worlds. لِمَنْ شَاءَ مِنْكُمْ أَنْ يَسْتَقِيمُ For whoever wills among you to take a right course. Here is the dalil for the mashi'atul abd. In the ayah, the ayah is a dalil for mashi'atul abd. Anna lil abdi mashi'ah. That the servant has an ability to choose. And he's not forced to do haram. لِمَنْ شَاءَ مِنْكُمْ أَنْ يَسْتَقِيمُ If you want, you yourself, you want to actually be an upright Muslim. You choose to be an upright Muslim. But that choice is limited by the next ayah. وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ And you do not will, except that Allah wills, Lord of the worlds. For the Mashia of the Abd, the servant's will, is completely under the will of Allah. For you cannot will something that Allah does not will. And we quoted the poetry of Imam Shafi'i last time. ما شئت كان وإن لم أشاء وما شئت إن لم تشاء لم يكن Until the end of the poetry. Whatever you will will happen, even if I don't will it. And whatever I will, if you don't will it, will not happen. What does that tell us? It tells us our need of Allah. Because a person from us could say, I will, shi'tu, an akuna min ahl jannah. I will, I have willed to be from the people of jannah. Hal takfi. It's not enough. Illa an yasha Allah rabbul alami. You need Allah Azza wa Jal to help you by willing for this choice that you have made to take place. For you have a choice. Allah Azza wa Jal created within you the ability to choose. فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيَكْفُرْ Whoever wants to believe, let him believe. And whoever wants to disbelieve, let him disbelieve. And you have a choice. But that choice, you cannot carry it out unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills it for you. So for example, let's say yesterday, I remember I said, inshallah, we will reach up to Surah Al-Mutaffifin. Any shi'tu, ana. And nasila ila Surah Al-Mutaffifin. I willed that we reach Surah Al-Mutaffifin. Wa ma sha'a Allah. Any Allah Azza wa Jal didn't will for us to reach it. Yani Allah willed that we reach to the end of Surah Abasa. For whose will will win the battle? Always the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be the one that will happen. But you will be taken to account and asked about your choices. Did you choose? Because sometimes you choose something good and it doesn't happen. And sometimes you choose something bad and it doesn't happen. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold you to account for your choices that you decided, things you decided. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will either complete that for you or hold you back from it for a wisdom that is with him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that brings us to the end of the surah. So we can go to surah 